Hi guys, I'm Chris. Hi, Zhang Yan. Hi, I'm Jerry. Hi, I'm Farid. Welcome to the Sunbury Squad. Today we're going to talk about the school life um, in each of our countries. Please introduce the most common school uniforms of your country. For like public school, basically we have white and red, and white and blue for middle school, white and gray. For high school, so it's the same for all like schools public in school. that level. Yes, oh. public school, but private school they will have like different ones. Every school shoes are you must wear black. Black shoes. Oh, black. Like, How about this dress? This is so, yeah. so fashionable. Oh, they're wearing one. Oh, they have white shoes. They try to be cool, I think. Try to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's allowed. They can like alter the uniform. Not really. Not so, really. Yeah, and you have like different uniform for. Every school, they wear like batik. It's from Indonesia, like Indonesian pattern for the clothes. Ah, batik. In my time, we have different uniforms for different schools. Even like if they're both like public for school, for example. But like the most common that I've seen is maybe navy blue skirts and white blouse. Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> same that. yeah, and also black shoes. That's for I think even even for high school we have the same. But like the same case for Indonesia for private schools they can have like varying designs. And then for Fridays, Fridays are, are actually called like wash days because mm -hmm. we can wear anything we want. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I think the Friday is special day for every. Yeah, Saturday. Monday to Thursday we wear the uniform. Mm -hmm. Public school, they all have the similar uniform. And also for private school, they will have different uniform. For boys' school, yeah, like that with the mm. this kind of pants. And we also have brown, white T-shirt and brown like this, just short for mm. for oh, boys. And for girls, similar oh, okay. to Philippines. Oh yes, this is a regular school in Thailand University. Common uniform is that we have white white T-shirt with skirt. You, they mm. can wear jeans. But most of them wear black and any kinds of jacket is kind of fashion for them nice. to style with jacket. Korea, like you know, I cannot like say, oh, this design is Korean uniform. Mm -hmm. Every school has different, different. pattern, mm -hmm. different colors, different styles. Wow. So Korea has four seasons, right? Mm -hmm. There is a summer uniform and winter uniform. Normally, summer uniform is just a white shirts or half sleeve shirts like that. This is like latte. Uniform. Yeah, latte. Once, once you go latte. to latte, world or latte. Everland, you can see. The all kinds kind of, of uniforms. Yeah, and the inner t-shirts. So it's kind of transparent once you wear the white shirts. Yeah, I see some shirts. people like have you, white shirts. You can see and something put... inside, right? Mm. So like students who want to show their like you know, uniqueness, they wear like, like brand, brand t-shirts. The like, brand. Yeah, uh... like, expensive one. Yeah, expensive one or like... Actually, I'm curious about <laughs> how like Korean girls, like because even in winter, they wear short skirts, oh, right? Yeah. How? <laughs> they just when I was in high school, there was a ranking for the school uniform mm. design, and our school was the like top. Wow. Mm. Oh. Our, that one? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Check it. It's easy to recognize Korean school uniform because, mm. like, it's obvious that that uniform is from Bundang Kudongakyo. Like when I'm walking to the street and like if I see some students are smoking, I can see that which school they're from and like when I see the color of the tag, okay, the policemen, here's the uh, high schoolers with second grade, they're smoking in there or something like that. Yeah, we can just report it. What, what is the most common school lunch? Okay, for the food, like as you can see, this is the most common one. Like in a tray and you will have a menu, every day will change. And the most common one may be like omelette, and rice and one soup and other wow. kind of food. So is that it normal to have a uh, food in circle tray? This every is very one. common one. I had that mm. before. So every every kid has like take same food, right? Same food, everyone. Mm. Uh, five days they have different menus, mm. but they all take the same food every day. Actually, in, in the Philippines, the, the one thing that always supposed to be there is rice. Mm. And then we have mm. either one or two viands, meat, and then like veggies. So actually, yours is like mm -hmm. a lot already for us. Is there a canteen? Yeah, in, in every school, I think there's at least one canteen. Usually... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, the famous the viands are lumpia, like adobo, meat. It, actually, we have a lot of like different kinds of viands, lunch, food. It also changes like every every day. Korea. There is a format like stainless steel tray with it needs to be rice and soup. And mm. there is a three small tray above it's Science. for panchan, the sides. And there needs to be like must. Kimchi kinds of food like fermented. 
type of food. Whatever it is, it needs to be like a meat and one veggie. Normally, Korea, Korean people, they cannot eat meal without soup. And size mm. too. There needs to be like at least uh. two or more banchan uh. so that they can have a full meal. Wow. And this is fancy. Mm. Yeah. How can that be fancy? Like, good. I think just because it looks a lot, it looks fancy. Mm. <laughs> the special thing about Korean meal is like every Wednesday, they serve special meal. It's not a rice, but like fried rice or bibimbap oh, or good. spaghetti. So it says like su tanar. It's 수요일은 다 먹는 날. That means like Wednesday, uh -huh. no leftovers. Korean meal actually looks really healthy. <laughs> healthy? The food? Okay. Yeah, because of the because of, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they always have like some kind of vegetable there. Yeah, we, we always put some balance on mm. meat and vegetables. Healthy. Yeah, healthy food. Too. Actually, it's different. But our schools, they need to buy from canteen. And inside the canteen, we have like several vendors from outside, we need to buy from them. Yeah, we, we always have rice like nasi goreng and maybe instant noodle. You have and instant noodle for mm. lunch? Yeah. Mi goreng? In Indonesia, we eat like fried noodles, like instant noodles with rice. So we it's just carb too. and carb. <laughs> it's like plain rice with mi goreng, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. plain rice with mi goreng, mm -hmm. sometimes with like fried egg. Uh, what's the most common and most popular activities or extracurricular that students take? Maybe mostly basketball, soccer, because in Indonesia we have like competition for that between high school. What about place. badminton? I thought that badminton is the best in Indonesia. In Indonesia. We have it as well, but not as popular as basketball or soccer. Korea, like, of course, soccer. Actually, Korea, there's... We have clubs. Every student has to, like, go into the club. Every Wednesday afternoon, it's a school club awesome. activity day. So every every student needs to go their club. Actually, I was in a soccer wow. club, so I practiced soccer a lot. And there was a competition in our city. And there are a lot of clubs that are made by students. If they want to do something, and they make it. Actually, clubs and doing extracurricular activities in Philippine schools is very common, especially students from the top section. If you're part of that, it can affect your grade positively. Like, because you're training, for example, you can attend classes. So naturally, your scores are going to be lower like, in exams compared to others. But if you're part of that extracurricular activity in my school before, for example, even if we get lower exam scores, the teachers cannot like lower our grades. But Generally, students are actually very active. They spend much of their uh, like free time doing club activities. In every subject, they have their own clubs. And also, it's mandatory to sign up the clubs. I remember the most three common ones, it's music and cooking and also okay. swimming. Okay. Cooking? Swimming clubs. Swimming? Yeah, we have swimming oh. Girls' school, we have swimming oh. When we have sport day, people from music club can show their talents. That's mm. why they need to Mm. Do you guys know Wangta? Every school has a, let's say, gangs. There's a head of gang. There are some workers for gang. They're taking money from every student. They're like a business guy. They get their money every month and they use it for their business, like cigarettes or drinks. It was a serious issue in Korea recently because some students, they committed a suicide. Like, it was shocking for me, like one bully guy, he was crying in elevator and he jumped from the top of the apartment, but it didn't work well. So he took the elevator again and he jumped again. Twice? Yeah, tw he, he jumped twice and it was like shocking for me and it was a big issue in Korea. It's kind of serious social issue. So like governments are trying to deal with those kind of bullying problems, but it's not it working work. well now. Mm. Yeah. They still have to. Of course, they're, they do. They do. I don't know why, but it's now it's kind of normal. No one trying to stop them. Because like the once police. once they stop them, they might be in that serious case. Mm -hmm. Like like students beat old people if they say, oh, why are you smoking? And really? students are just grabbing them and like, punch them. Oh my God. Mm. Oh. You can see that like often in Korea, it's normal. Yeah, we have bully as well. Guys in Indonesia, we like gather like in big group and we have problem with another school. And after the school time, just go to the street and fight with them. Like it's, it's in Jakarta, it's really, really bad. It, it can happen every day. And you bring like knife and- Knife? Really? High school? High school and nowadays some middle school, really bad. 
<laughs> That's scary. Yeah. Like group to group fighting? Yeah, like one school meet another school. Oh, it's like a close zero. Yeah, it's Japanese movie like school gangs, like mm -hmm. fighting each other. Like, yeah. Maybe it's like that. Alright. <laughs> no, 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 I never. <laughs> if that happens, mm -hmm. are there going to be in the news or? Yeah, the people around them, they can't do anything. They cannot stop them. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's more than I expected. They will finish when police come. Mm. Actually, when when whenever I see like bullying scenes in Korean mm. like MVs and like K dramas, mm. to me it's like kind of extreme mm. because we don't have not, not that I don't know of we don't have that kind of like extreme bullying in the Philippines. Like maybe we do. We we have bullies of course, but not in that level. Mm. Like even in front of professors or teachers. Students bully other other students. Like in our schools, I think students still respect the authority of, of teachers. So, like if you do something bad, you will just have to be sent to the principal's office, and then you'll be scolded, and then hopefully you won't do it again. But when it comes to like bullying, I think in the Philippines, what's more common is cyberbullying. Yeah, more than the physical bullying. Thailand mostly bullying happens in regular school, public school, not private school because private school we have like a lot of teachers we in control. But mostly in technology school, just like Indonesia, they can bring like a knife or anything in their pockets. <laughs> and after school, they will ride a bus to meet each other. Some people have a gun. Gun? Yeah. Have you ever heard about gunshots? Yeah, mm. very common in Thailand. So you can you can hear gun gunshot. It's, it's illegal, but because of law, you can have legal gun. In Thailand, not as safe as Korea. So I mean, because some mm. house needs to have a gun. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't seen that, but it's it happens. It, it happens. All right, guys, that's it for today for Sunbest Squad. If you like our videos, please like and subscribe. Comment if you have interesting topics you'd like to watch on the Sunbest Squad. See you next time. Bye. Bye.